Hey and welcome back. In our continuing search for the ideal electric vehicle, I think I might have found a car that's powered with toothpaste. Well, that's what the German Fraunhofer Institute wants us to use. And it's all about hydrogen. On paper, hydrogen is a dream fuel. Coal, oil, natural gas, all produce carbon dioxide. But when you burn hydrogen, it produces water. And hydrogen crams in more power than any conventional batteries do. And the thing that I know you'll like is you can refill a hydrogen car as fast as you can at the gas station. But hang on, hydrogen is still associated with the Hindenburg. It explodes. One way around that is just to liquefy it. But liquid hydrogen is minus 253 Celsius. Bit chilly. So clever Germans at the Fraunhofer Institute have turned hydrogen into gloop. They've been experimenting with a chemical compound that you can pump into a cartridge and use to power your car. This is it. The goopy stuff is actually magnesium hydride, a compound that when it reacts with water produces hydrogen gas. So to make your car go forward, you install one of these gloopy cylinders. You have a tank of water. It produces hydrogen gas. It powers a fuel cell and you go down the road. Dr. Voigt claims there are various advantages over batteries or conventional petrol. His goopy toothpaste actually squeezes in more energy than petrol or any other battery. And it has the added advantage of never losing its potency. Mix it with water, it will always make hydrogen gas. But even the clever Germans understand it will probably not end up in the automotive industry. But it could be ideal for powering these large electric drones or small electric aircraft. Imagine a hydrogen toothpaste goop powered scooter or even cooking your lunch on a toothpaste goopy stove. So they're taking it seriously and a pilot plant in Brunswick, Germany are gonna produce over four tons of this hydrogen goop. And they've already got a customer, the German army. The future is in toothpaste.